Hi, this is your reading. Now, guys, I once again did two, hold on. I did two Libra readings last week again, so um, I apologize. And you will have your reading on, on the regularly scheduled date of next Tuesday as well. This is for last week, um, but it would be it'd still be your week ahead because it should have come out on Tuesday and it didn't. So I apologize, Gemini, for the delay. Gemini, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, welcome to my site if you're just finding me. Uh, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, there's going to be one in a couple of seconds so that there is no more throughout the video and none interrupt the, the message. Um, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now, Thank you for sitting through either an awkward pause or a commercial. Gemini, let's get into your reading for the week ahead. This would be still for the week of like November 4th through the 11th of 2019. So watch for another one coming up this coming Tuesday. I apologize, Gemini. However, the messages are spitting out for you guys. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the energies are. Owl spirit, upside down. Basically, what tell, that tells me is like, I don't want to know. Uh, watch and wait. Very impatient or you've just given up hope. Life is speeding up. Basically, everything's topside, on its back, flat and still. Now, all of those come out, I think, as crowning messages because they're all working together for me. And saying, you, Gemini, have had enough. You're pretty much done um, and feeling very confident that you don't need to hold on to a current situation in order for your life to be good. In fact, I think you have identified a current situation as something that is making your life not so good and you're, you're, you're walking away. Enough is enough. I don't see any movement in whatever this is. I just feel like it's almost like I spy with my little eye somebody who just needs to stop trying. That's kind of what I feel. This energy of, I do know. I did. And I did listen. And thank you very much. Now I'm moving on. I, I just, that's, that's sort of the energy that's coming through the cards. Of course, there will always be... Um, an extended uh, link below, a link below to the extended Vimeo, uh, Vimeo video uh, for the uh, full tarot card spread and the romance reading if you are curious. But Gemini, hold on. Three more cards have come out. Let's get a look. And all, most of them are coming out. Overcome any obstacle. And I feel like this is overcoming a specific person. Sing your own song, but it's upside down as well. And co-create with spirit. See, I think that you're finally getting in touch with yourself again after somebody has obstructed your ability to be you or sort of compromised your feeling of, is it okay, you know, of who you are, compromised how good you feel about yourself. Um, and honestly, that's not hard. That's, that's, that's not hard to do with you guys, to be honest with you. I, I feel like maybe you, you act more aloof than you normally, you normally do. But when people get to you, it's sort of like you don't hang around to let them get to you again. And that's what's coming up here. There is a sense of somebody who tried to block you from being you. And, and what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing is guilt, guilt. They tried to use guilt um, to make you not move, not move on, not go anywhere, not question things, which is, are you kidding me? Why would a Gemini not question something? Like you love inquiry, you love to learn. And if something doesn't make sense to you, you want to inquire, right? Well, somebody tried to make it seem like it was wrong of you to do that. That feeling of obstructing. See, these are my two, Gem this is my Gemini card and it's upside down. It's almost like, no, you're not allowed to be yourself. You know, so no, no, in other words, don't talk. 
don't tell me your opinion or your opinions are wrong or you must be thinking that because you're selfish you must you know those are selfish thoughts don't have them or um why do you want those things those are very th those aren't those are very selfish things to want uh why you know you, you do realize that's irresponsible right all those kind of those kind of negative negative words that were obstructing your ability to just be who you are so clearly it was coming from somebody who had an effect on you right it wasn't just nobody because general popular opinion no big deal right but you this is not coming from that this is coming from somebody that for some reason was in your inner circle and i'm wondering why they were in your inner circle because they don't seem to like you much and that is a really backstabby thing like if you don't like me why are you here why are you even showing up I do believe that there was almost like there's a sense of this is the Aquarius card in reverse, the owl card, the owl, the one who looks at the big picture, the one who can see in the dark and see through the dark and the, the wisdom, the one who can lead people to a higher sense of sort of enlightenment. Um, but it's in reverse. So this could have been somebody who was an extremely manipulative person who came off as all knowing and all wise and was really just a wise person. A, you know, no, no, what? You know what I'm saying? Like they just, they, they, they were blind as a bat trying to describe what the dark looked like, sounding wise doing it. That's what this kind of person was. I don't know if you were dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could have been dealing with also a Pisces. There's lots of different energies here. I think the overwhelming sense, however, is that whoever you were dealing with I don't know why they were in your life because they didn't like you. I, can, I, keep, I keep hearing that. There's this feeling of, if you don't like me, why are you here? And I think that that's what, there you go. Be generous of spirit, waking back up to who you are, stepping back into your full power and moving on, moving forward, only looking in the direction of that away. You know, whereas here, someone turned you on your head and made you feel like you needed to go backwards you know, maybe help them. Somebody who was very emotionally needy. Somebody who always wanted you to help them or see things their way. And if you didn't see things their way, then clearly you were bullying them or talking badly to them or you weren't listening correctly. Um, somebody who, no matter what you did, was always going to make things your fault. Now, listen. This does not have to be in a personal relationship. This is general energies for all you guys. Sun, moon, rising, Gemini, any of you. This is the energy of wherever Gemini is showing up in your chart, right? So if you know your natal chart very well, you can, you can apply these energies to wherever Gemini is affecting your chart. So I speak to all of you who is concerned with a Gemini. I know and I feel like Geminis get a lot of cross watchers. And I know I'm going to hear things like, well, it's the Gemini that's doing that to me. It's the Gemini that's doing... I don't know. Whoever it is, it could be cross watchers. This is the energy, though, of why were you ever with this person, Gemini? Because they never... <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Sneezing tells the truth. Symbol of the truth. All, let it all out. They never really appreciated who you were. It's almost like maybe in the beginning they appreciated how you made them feel. And then when you got wise to who they were or started to question them, right, they, they made you, or maybe they started to question you a lot and you didn't like it. So the energies could be reversed, but there was definitely inquiries here that, 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 that revealed suspicion instead of just curiosity. And what suspicion says is you don't have faith in somebody. Right. And this could very well have been with your job. This could have been at, this could have been on your career path. Somebody who was essentially supposed to be on your side, I'll see that, tell you that right now, they were very well put together, very well dressed. I see a lot of professionalism, somebody who wears, I mean, nice jewelry. I'm not talking about big jewelry, loud. I'm talking about like classy, they, but you could definitely tell it's valuable. So somebody who has means or at least poses as somebody who has means. They present themselves as very professional. They're very put together. They're very elegant, right? But they're, they're blind as a bat in the dark, describing the dark to try to sound wise. That's what they are. That's the best way to explain, explain this person. And they were very emotionally clingy. They needed you a lot. You could be dealing with an upside down Piscean 
or some sort of water energy. But I see Pisces card out here. Um, there is this sense of coming back into yourself, listening to spirit, rejoining spirit, and deciding to just believe in who you are again. Um, I think that something came out about this person too. Uh, a truth came out. It's almost like they got a little bit of a dose of their own medicine. It's like, okay, so you're accusing me, you as a Gemini, of all of these things. But what about this, 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 and this? And it's almost like as soon as you pose those questions to this person, you immediately shut them down. You piss them off. You got them defensive. You got them saying things like, well, A, you don't have a right to ask me those questions or C, oh, 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 see how manipulative you are that you would even twist the story like that. Bottom line, the two of you are just never going to see eye to eye. This is not a compatible match for you. This is somebody who thinks so differently than you that your up is their down and their down is your up and you just don't belong together. And releasing this person or getting out of this situation, even if it was a job, Getting out of this situation is the best possible thing you could do. This is the energies leading up for um, most of this week. Like I said, maybe to like the 11th um, for you guys. But I do believe that this is this is actually a really great thing because honestly, with uh, having Scorpio, uh, having Jupiter have um, been in retrograde through Scorpio, it was been a little wonky for you guys, right? Things have been a little, things haven't been as smooth as normal. But now that Jupiter is making its way back direct into Sagittarius, you guys are going to feel like really relieved. It's almost like a new start for you, a bringing, coming back to yourself. It's like, you can say what you want to say again. You don't have to feel bad about the way that you think or the way that you present yourself. Aligning with spirit for you is like a, aligning back with who you are. Um, basically getting those both those twins uh, in balance and, and singing in harmony. Somebody could have really thrown you off, almost like divided those parts of yourself, right? Uh, polarizing, polarizing. Um, sensibilities that make you feel make you feel sort of empty and hollowed out in the middle and so your stability is coming back this week and I think a lot of it has to do with booting out this person who would say bad things about you and I think that that honestly um with mercury retrograde in Scorpio this is what's being revealed is that they were using their words to manipulate the way that the way that things seemed to be. And I know that that normally sounds like something a Gemini would do. Maybe you're dealing with another Gemini. I don't know. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. They used words somehow to always say things that were underhandedly stabbing at you, right? They would never take, this is the kind of person who was sitting across from you at the boardroom and would say things in a very polite, professional manner. Um, that would always imply that you hadn't done your job right. That's like right in front of everybody. This is the way that they would talk to you. And at first, maybe you tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I think that there is no way around. See, I think what you're doing this week is calling them out on it. Calling them out on it actually being malicious, not just it being a disagreement or being a difference of opinion. It's actually them being malicious and, and intentionally being more brutal than they have to be. They are definitely somebody blocking you from your fullest potential. I'm going to turn the camera angle around to review the tarot card spread. Hold on. And there you have it. And these were the, these were the, the cards, owl spirits, seahorse spirit, and antelope spirit, all in the opposite direction. They were, there was stagnation. There was stop. There was not seeing clearly. There was things being murky, things being foggy, maybe intentionally foggy, maybe somebody being, like I said, intentionally deceptive. Um, watch and wait, being very impatient or just being fed up and sick of things turning around. This is you being upside down, like trying to race on your back, getting stabbed by your own horns. It could very well have been, I don't know if something that you had done earlier had come back around to stab at you or or to sort of sort of come prancing out at you and it threw you for a loop because you didn't realize that it would have this effect. Um, but no, I, I, I really honestly feel like this is momentum coming from the outside of you. Somebody making, because all of these, this is an air, this is an air card. So lots of thoughts and lots of words being used in a crooked way. 
in a way that is underhanded and to undermine somebody and blocking you. You see this? This is a separation, right, of the two sides of yourself, of the ability to communicate and the ability to progress, right? They're, and they're, they're divided. It's like they're not, yeah, they're not working in sync. And what you needed was to find your voice again. And, and I think that you do, and I think that you do by basically share like like the crow would delivering that truth this week which is ironic because normally you know aquarius is a sign of truth but i do believe that you are there speaking the truth and roaring like letting yourself full your feel your full power this week because you needed to yeah, you needed to get your power back and feel good again but beyond that because you almost in some ways needed to defend yourself against somebody who no matter what you did like i said was going to try to make you look like the fool, was going to say things that were underhanded to try to undermine you. And there you are, like calling them out and not letting it happen. I'm gonna head over to Vimeo to, full, to pull a full tarot spread. This may be, um, this story is still unraveling. So uh, let's see the continuation over on Vimeo. I will also do your romance reading um, through, through Tuesday, and then you'll have another reading up for you. But Gemini, there is definitely something. Well, first of all, by the end of this week, you definitely feel better about yourself. But how things pan out for you, well, that's to be, to be determined. And we will look into that with Tarot, okay? So I'll see you guys over on Vimeo.